Hello bookworms! It is the start of a new reading vlog. I just had a delicious little bowl of fried rice from Trader Joe's. It's so good. I posted an Instagram story of it too but it's so quick to make and it's just like truly delicious. So I just ate that and watched a little bit of booktube. I'm down to 50 videos in my queue which is pretty good because the other day I was at like 100. I have so much that I need to accomplish tonight because it's Sunday night and I have to go back to work tomorrow. I need to finish reading The Wicked King. That's like top top priority for me. I'm over halfway through it. I'm on page 200 of 324 pages. So that is like a definite thing that is happening tonight. And then I also filmed a bunch of videos this afternoon. So I'm in the middle of editing a news video. I started editing my unhaul video, which is an hour and five minutes long. That's going to take me forever. Um, my news video is like a half an hour long. So this is like going to be quite a night. All I want to do is just finish the Wicked King and then like lay in bed and watch anime but I, I can't do that I need to edit things but I am gonna finish this and then what else I'm also reading Dreamland by Sarah Dessen and I'm still reading Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian which I'm also like I'm just adoring I obviously need to finish reading The Wicked King before I get back to that but yeah that's pretty much what's going on for now I have fun things happening this week so I'm gonna try to vlog like throughout the week so that you can see kind of a tip typical week for me you guys don't even know what my heart just went through I just read chapter 21 of the Wicked King I am incredibly and infinitely stressed out right now and I don't know how I'm gonna go back to editing because I need to know what's gonna happen next and I need it to be something good <laughs> Today is Friday and I'm going to the Stay Sweet event at Books Are Magic later tonight and I'm so excited because I have wanted to go to Books of Magic like since it opened. I think it just looks like the cutest little bookstore in the world. So I'm really excited to go there and then I'm also really excited to go for Stay Sweet because I really love that book. Got my Starbucks for work so that I'll stay awake for later. I'm exhausted because I have really big news. Andrew and I are officially moving into New York City and I am so excited. It's gonna save three and a half hours <laughs> for me every single day. I'm not gonna be commuting anymore, which is gonna be wonderful. I'll be able to read in my own home. But yeah, it's just been chaos because New York real estate, everything moves like super quick. So we saw an apartment, we love the apartment. We applied for it that night. We got approved a couple days later and now we have less than a week to pack up everything that we own and as you know, I have quite a lot of books, so that's gonna be a process. We got a lot of new furniture. I'm really excited about how we planned the layout of the new place, and I just can't wait to like be there and start living there and everything. But in the meantime, doing this Stay Sweet event tonight, and I'm also going to the Royals event on Tuesday, and I am not letting myself do anything else because I need to get into like serious packing mode. So it's gonna be tough, but It'll be worth it, and then I'll see Infinity War eventually, I hope, before it's spoiled for me. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I had the one with the, the truffle. <laughs> so I just met up with Rachel and Alexa, and we are at Cafe Lulu. We're just gonna, oh, actually the menu matches my outfit perfectly. <laughs> Um, we're just grabbing a quick bite to eat before we head over to Books of Magic. We're all very excited because Ample Hill is pretty great. Let's go and have ice cream now. We just got to Books Are Magic and we took our photos in front of the Books Are Magic wall, which I will show you. So, so cool, and I can't wait to go inside. There's Jenny Han and Siobhan right there. Oh <laughs> that is so adorable. <laughs> oh I probably. Thank you all for coming tonight. Oh, I'm feeling 
lots of heart needs. I'm Siobhan. I'm Jenny. Is mine on? This is on, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Jenny's my moderator, so I'm going to look at you <laughs> to lead the discussion today. And I even like prepared questions, so it would be really professional. So it would just be two best friends um, on stage talking. Squawking. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, we are best friends. Siobhan and I. Uh, That's not a marketing thing. No, no, it's real. <laughs> That's legit. Uh, we met uh, in grad school. Uh, we were studying writing for children. And in new school. At new school. 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 Woo! Woo! We lived in this very neighborhood, a block apart from each other, and we had frequent writing dates. And so I'm really excited to be here tonight to talk about Siobhan's latest book. Stay sweet. Thank Siobhan, you. show your clutch. I yes, um, I do want to <laughs> take this pause on the evening and show this beautiful sprinkle clutch so that Jenny got for me. Um, for our, my birthday a couple years ago, actually when I first started working on Stay Sweet, and she gave it to me, and I was like, heart eyes, because whoa, you know, and then crying inside because at that time, it was just like a mess. Like, I didn't know that it was ever going to be a book. I really wanted it to be a book, but that seemed like a million drafts from where I was at, but that like my best friend believed in me enough to buy me the themed clutch. <laughs> so, like, that was all I needed to take it over. I said, you've got to bring it on tour. It's a conversation piece. <laughs> you have it next to you, and people want to like shake it and touch mm -hmm. it. And that's exactly how it's worked out. We are. Yeah. Two years later with the clutch. So, Siobhan. A lot of your books um, deal with themes of best friendship and the way that friendships change, and also um, feminism, and like you go to those themes a lot, like in the list, as well as little friendly advice, same difference. Also, the books that we co-wrote together, called Burn for Burn. Um, I want to hear from you in Stay Sweet. Um, what what was your new take on 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 all those themes, I and mean, what were you exploring? Um, in this book. Okay. It feels different from <laughs> um, Well, one of the things that I kept kind of front and center in my mind was an article I had seen a couple years ago in the New York Times, and it was about a leadership academy for girls um, where they would just go for the summer and sort of like work out kind of how to navigate different social situations. and. The comments from the girls about sort of why they were there really kind of shook me. Um, some of the things they would say were like, you know, I don't really like doing a group project because I don't like to tell other people what to do because that's unlikable. And I don't really like to like be asked for opinions because if I don't give the opinion that somebody wants, they might think that I'm mean or unlikable. And it was this like kind of like loop over and over again about kind of hiding like your true self out of fear. And, you know, kind of at the time, also I was, you know, just getting some thoughts about likability about some of my narrators. Sometimes I hear that my narrators are like not the most likable. Where did you hear that? Uh, a terrible place called Goodreads. Good yeah. <laughs> Someone in Goodreads could be the end of me for sure. Um, Old things, I'm like, oh, I wish I had just done like this one line. I just got home from the Stay Sweet event in at Books or Magic in Brooklyn and oh my gosh it was like such a wonderful evening. I just posted an Instagram photo of it but I finally got to take a photo in front of that wall that I have just been dying to see ever since the store opened. The inside of the store is just absolutely beautiful. I had a little trouble filming because the lighting was like a little bit off and it was so super crowded and I was holding my ice cream. You know like typical problems but it was really really wonderful it was so great to see Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian talking in person because they're like actually best friends in real life so it was just like really cute to hear their conversation and just see them like interacting with each other and hearing about a little bit of their process behind Burn for Burn which they co-wrote but obviously we were there to celebrate Stay Sweet which just came out and I truly loved that book so I had actually pre-ordered my copy from Books Are Magic because I was planning on going to the event. I really wanted to get the pre-order deal. She had like a great incentive where you get a t-shirt that says Mead Creamery and you get this super cute adorable enamel pin that has like of like an ice cream cone so I definitely was like yes getting this here but I'll show you a couple of the things that I got because I've always wanted to go to books or magic so I left with some things so first I got 
this tote bag that says books are magic. It's pink. It's so cute. I like I'm very picky about tote bags, but I just think that this one is so perfect. I love the saying. It's just like adorable. And then the back side of it has the address of the store. I also got this books are magic. Oh my gosh. This is like the most horrible filming job. I apologize, but I got this books are magic sweatshirt that I am going to forever be wearing because it is so soft and so cute. I also obviously got my copy of Stay Sweet, which is signed by Siobhan, and it says for Kristen with a cherry on top, Stay Sweet, Siobhan Vivian. Inside the book, they also gave out a, let's see if you can focus on that, a Books Are Magic bookmark. I also got an Ample Hills Creamery bookmark, which I'm pretty excited about. And I also got my copy of Burn for Burn signed, which is the book that Jenny and Siobhan co-wrote, well, series, the trilogy. But I did not have the energy to carry all three of them with me today, so I decided to just get the first one signed, and then I will slowly bring the rest of them to other times that they have New York events. Lastly, they actually had the pre-order pin available at the store, which they were handing out with the book. So, got this too. There we go. So cute. So, I'm really happy. I'm really full. Had so much food. Um, I also got to meet Alex of The Book Buzz, who has a absolutely beautiful Instagram account as well as Alexandra from Twirling Pages and it was just like really nice to meet people and to be out and do things and I'm just so excited about moving and like being able to do things like this more often without being exhausted. I think today was just like a super great day like friends and ice cream and books like everything that I love it was just totally perfect and the bookstore was so beautiful so I highly recommend going there. If you're ever in New York I am going to to get changed and probably watch some anime with Andrew before we go to sleep and then start packing like crazy tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to vlog at all this weekend, but the next time that I talk to you, I will be going to the Royals event by Rachel Hawkins, which is being held at Bendel's on Fifth Avenue, which is really cool because it's like a totally different location for a book event. Just may as well throw in what I'm currently reading. Currently reading Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Catugno, and I am super loving it. I cannot wait to finish it. I feel like I'm going to end up reading this one really quick, and it's so perfect. I'm so in the mood for contemporaries, and I think part of that reason is because I loved Stay Sweet so much, so now I'm just like, yes, contemporaries and summer and spring and like nice weather and everything that I love. So yeah, definitely enjoying this one. Hello. So it is Tuesday now and tonight I am going to the Royals event with Alexa and Monica and it's at Henry Bendel's which is really cool because it's like a very fancy high-end store in New York City on Fifth Avenue and it just is like perfect because Royals obviously have a lot of money for shopping. Right now though, as you can see, I am currently in the middle of packing. I have packed a lot of my bookshelves minus my candles. I have a lot more packing to go. That's pretty much going to be the entire weekend. It's also a court of frost and Starlight Day. I just finished reading Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Ketugno. I loved it. It was so amazing. I am reading a bunch of other books also, but my copy of A Court of Frost and Starlight should be here, I think either tomorrow or later tonight. I can't remember, but I got a digital copy on Kindle so I could start reading it today and hopefully finish it by tonight because I don't want to be spoiled and I love that series so much. <laughs> Event, and I'm with Catherine. 
Do you want to tell them what your channel is? Uh, my channel is Catherine Reads. She's the most amazing thing ever. Like, like, Reads lots of fantasy. And I started booktube. Really? Yeah, I started watching you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I watch her channel a lot too because you read a lot of fantasy yeah. and I love fantasy. I have not read a contemporary, but I started calling me by your name. Oh, really? Breaking my streak. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just got to talk to Rachel and we got signed and we had delicious tea and cupcakes and everything that you'll see from the video. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll leave Catherine's channel link down below so you can follow her. <laughs> I am so excited that you're all here, and I'm loving seeing like the crowns. Everybody, <laughs> everyone looks fabulous. So thank you. I'm gonna hand this over to Grace. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm so excited to be here with Rachel for the launch of her new book. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the book. I'm gonna ask her some questions, and then we will take your questions. So start thinking about what you want to ask her. So Rachel, yes. have you always been obsessed with all things royals? Um, where did the inspiration come from for the book? I have always really, really liked all things royals. Um, I've told this story now like three times, but it bears repeating because it's a good one. Uh, that when I was very little, I got very into like the Six Wives of Henry VIII, like really, like a little alarmingly into <laughs> Um, and one of my favorite things to do was to try to do like the Anne Boleyn headdress, you know, like the French hood. But I didn't have a French hood, so I put a dish towel on my head. And if you, if you put the dish towel, so like the front half and the back, and you put a headband, and then you flip the front part back, it works. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it'll do. Um, so yeah, so I always enjoyed it in that kind of sense. I also sort of feel the need to like apologize and be like, look, it's not like I'm super pro-monarchy. I just really like people kind of like living larger than life lives. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it started like from the history stuff, which again, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know sexy history, and you know like that's my jam. Um, but also just because I like, I like soapy stuff, I like larger than life, and the royals are very much that. I love that. Um, now what about Scotland? Tell me more about the book setting and why you picked it. I really, really like Scotland a lot too. Like basically that's all this is gonna be. Like, why did you write this book? I like many things and I have to play on a book. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Scotland. My family and I have gone there once a year, every year since 2012. Um, we sort of have a problem <laughs> in Scotland, but we all love it. My husband, my son, myself, we're all kind of obsessed with it. So when I sat down to write this book, um, I knew that I wanted to write about a royal family. I knew I was writing about a girl who got famous because her sister married a prince. And I initially thought I was just going to do kind of an alternate British royal family. And I started with that, but didn't get really into it. And also, like, the royal we was coming out, which, oh, guys, it was agony. I could not read the royal we until I was finished on this book. I bought it three times. <laughs> I own it in hardback, paperback, and on ebook <laughs> because I wanted it so badly, but I was like, no, I, I can't let any sort of alternate royal things in my head while I'm working on this book. And it took me seven years to write this book, so that was a really long time not to read stuff I like. Um, so yeah, that alternate British family wasn't really working for me, and then I didn't really want to do like a, like a fake country, a la like The Princess Diaries with Genovia, as much as I love those books. <laughs> That didn't really work for me. I needed something that felt a little, that felt real. And then I, uh, I actually remember because I was emailing my agent about how I was going to write this book. And then I said like, oh wait, wait. Like as I was, you know, sometimes when you talk things out, something the solution appears. And so yeah, I was like, what? What could be? I could do Scotland. I could just give Scotland back their own monarchy. They used to have their own monarchy. And then I sent her because I'm extremely professional. I give. I say gift, not joke. Sorry. Um, a gif of someone like rolling around in glitter. I was like, this is how I feel. And she was like, then maybe go do that. <laughs> Stop emailing me these things. So yeah, it's, it's basically just, um, because I do, I love Scotland so much, and I love Scottish history, and I've been there so much. And I really just like the idea of Scotland having a monarchy again, and like, what would that look like? I am home. I had such a fun time at the Royals event. It was like, 
really amazing that we had high tea from Tea and Sympathy, which is like an amazing tea place in the city. We got to sit and chat with Rachel for like an hour and 15 minutes, just me, Monica, Lily, and Catherine. And that was so, so nice, like to just have that, um, like, moving the camera. That was so so nice just to have that like extra one-on-one -on -one time and to hear more about like her process behind writing the royals. Did not realize that it took her seven years to write this book but that's amazing and it's like you can tell that it's such a labor of love because she loves Scotland and she loves like gossip sites and stuff so I think it was just like the perfect book and I mean I read it already and I really loved it so I got to tell her how much I loved Miles along with a lot of other characters. I just think she did a fantastic job with it and I am so glad that we're getting a second book. It's gonna be more of a companion, it's not gonna be a direct sequel, but I am very excited about it. So I got a copy of The Royals and it's signed by Rachel. It says, for Kristen, a true queen, Rachel Hawkins. So cute. This is like one of those covers that just feels really like soft and matted to the touch. I love it. And then it has raised topography, all things I love in book covers. I also got this lovely crown and we took a couple of photos which we posted online and that was really fun and then I had to leave the event a little bit early because I had like a ton of furniture delivered today but to my parents house so Andrew and I went to my parents house and we picked up a bunch of our new furniture that is all in boxes so that when the movers come here on Monday they can just take them as they are and then put them in our new place. It is late now so I, do, I doubt that I'm gonna get much packing done because I think it's like nine o'clock and I have not yet eaten dinner. I'm just feeling overwhelmed because there's so much to do and that was so much like carrying heavy stuff but oh I did get my keys. Monica came with me and I got to show her my new apartment and I picked up my set of keys so I'm really really happy about that. I can't wait to just like be there. But yeah I think that that is oh I read a bunch of A Court of Frost and Star late I'm like almost halfway through it and obviously I love it I will definitely be finishing it up tomorrow and I will tell you in the future my feelings on it but I can't imagine that I'm gonna like not like it because I'm already loving it I just wanted to update you there but I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog and my next vlog will probably be my new apartment crazy so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon with a new one bye